Tonight is the last night in training. It's probably the last time this group will ever look the same. And of course, we'll still be in reach together if that's something we all choose. It's the last session of the year for these trainees on the REACH program. For some, it's been a fortnightly journey over a large part of their lives. And this group is reflecting on some of their key takeaways. It's a lot of actual skills and like, like active listening is one of them, 100%, that when I came here, I hadn't heard about, learned about, and it was something that really changed changed the game for me because I'm a massive talker. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What we do is create a space where we have our highly trained facilitators that come into that space and allow young people to be themselves. We ask them relevant questions, what's going on for them. They feel safe and connected because it's a peer-to-peer -peer environment and they start talking about what's real for them. It's really weird having like mm. finals and last instead of like first and different things. Mm. Um, Over the last 30 years, the REACH program has helped young people implement skills and strategies to promote mental health. One of my mum's favourite sayings is that the only way to learn to swim with sharks is by swimming with sharks. When I came into REACH as a 15 year old, I was within a cohort of like 15 to like 25 year olds. Um, and then I was, for, the, for a long time, I was the youngest in the crew cohort and things like that. So I've always been swimming with sharks and I've always been a little bit out of my depth, like enough that I've had to adapt and grow. So yeah, that, that attitude of like just doing it or jumping in and ripping into something or swimming with the sharks, even when it's terrifying, is really what, probably the biggest thing that Reach has given me. Love you to turn um, to a new person, so maybe turn the other side. Having facilitators who are around the same age as the kids is one of the driving strategies that helps open up communication channels. In terms of like young people's growth and their emotional intelligence, like that is the core of what we do and want to do. And I think when they come into a program, some people are a little bit hesitant or don't fully understand what they're there for. It might just feel like a few games, a couple of activities, but over time they start to realise that they're building confidence in themselves and who they are, who they want to be. They're able to speak in a you know, big group versus coming in quite shy and, and those little things are the, the massive ones for us. I know you've done the REACH program before, so you would have done one other session. The program also caters to older primary school kids. These year sixes are soon to make the transition to high school. We're going to be doing a little bit of a session where we're going to get to learn about each other and yourself in this room. I enjoy a lot about working with primary school kids. They're definitely probably way more wild um, than our high school young people, secondary young people. They will say it how it is. They're pretty confident in, their, in who they are and their abilities. They're pretty cheeky, but they're also at that age very open to having pretty hard conversations. What are things that they've done that have helped you? How do they show you support? They show support by really being there for me and really just, yeah, being there for me, helping me out, and I hope I think that I have done the same. Mm. I learned that it's probably OK to really speak up and just by speaking up, you can actually... It actually helped me a lot to deal with what happened at home. And I found out by one of my friends, Lucy, she also had the exact same thing happening. And I really felt that was, like, it really did something to me that was really good. I felt that I wasn't, yeah, the only one. Has anybody here played a game called Fork in the Pie? Yeah. A couple of you? I like how they do, like, icebreaker things at the start to get to know people. And I like how they let us be so honest and they let us take our time as well. They don't rush through it. Yeah, I think the workshops do help you express your feelings because they put different strategies in to help you, like, cope with different problems you're having. I learnt that everyone has has a comfort zone and it's OK, like, not to always step out of your comfort zone, but it is good to step out of it sometimes. In essence, we're teaching them, as I said before, like resilience, um, confidence building, how to, you know, have communication skills, um, how to express how they're feeling and emotions, finding tools and easier way to express who they are and who they want to be but also how to just have fun and be a young person as well. But you know what I always like to eat? Mangoes. <laughs> <laughs> For the young facilitators, 
the biggest reward comes in witnessing the evolution of the kids. And you got a bit of a cheeky smile. A little one. <laughs> we get to see potential in young people beyond maybe the adults in their lives. And I think once they get a little dose of that, they go, well, I want to keep coming back. But our facilitators, you know, the age that we are, I'm a little bit older, but the age that we are, they, they get to relate to us way, way more, um, which I think is the, the biggest help. You know, our trainers are world-class trainers. We are the only ones that train facilitators in this country from a young age. That is the only way to develop the level of skill that is required. That when we walk into a school with a 15 year old and they're talking about something they've never spoken about before, never spoken to their parents about, never spoken to their friends about, and all of a sudden they're doing it in front of 60 people. That's a crucial moment that needs to be treated with the utmost respect and he's done so with the highest level of facilitation training possible that's all been created out of the REACH Foundation.